I know I must have had human parents or I wouldn't be here, but I certainly can't remember them. The only mother I've ever known is one of the giant eagles of what you people call Eagle's Peak. I've lived here my entire life, but for some reason lately I've felt... empty. With no one else to turn to, I went to my mother for guidance. I knew this day would come. You yearn for other humans, for those like you. But mother, I can't stand humans. I've seen their cities from a distance and that's all I need to know. I'm not like them. You're more like them than you are like me, and that's perfectly all right. I love you exactly the way you are. But, Mother... Go, see the world. Our family stretches to the frozen north, to the jungles to the south, and to the desert to the east. There are humans unlike those you've seen before. Find them, and remember, you're always welcome here, no matter what happens. I... I'll try. Welcome to the first episode of E-Girl, an Ultimate Iron Man account series where I'm locked to only areas accessible via the Eagle transport system. As you've probably already guessed, this series will be composed of two distinct styles of content. One where I comment on and show things as they happen over the course of playing the account, similar to a lot of other YouTube series. And another where I narrate the events in character as our protagonist, uh, aka E-Girl. Yes, it's a bit of a silly name, but the series itself won't be too silly. There will be an overarching narrative, but this is distinctly chaotic fiction, a type of writing where I don't know the outcome before I begin. I'll probably embellish on some things that happen, but this is just as much a restricted UIM account series as it is a story. So you'll get a good mixture of story, strategy, and gameplay throughout this series. The restrictions themselves are fairly straightforward. I'm limited to only the areas directly around the various destinations of the Eagle Transport System, and I have to unlock them one at a time with the requirements on screen. I'll be keeping exceptions to the absolute minimum required. The only exceptions that will be allowed are those that are required to unlock substantial content within these areas, such as entire skills or a majority of the content in the region. Even then, I'll only allow small exceptions, the biggest of which being Priest in Peril and the Journey into Mauritania, which is required to complete the Fremenic Trials. Yes, I know you could technically grind fishing to 76 to get a raw shark. Unfortunately, there are no harpoons that are actually available within the region anyways, so even that isn't actually possible. I had to do a few things in order to start this account off, but other than these things, the account gained no experience and completed no quests before getting started. Obviously, I first had to do Eagle's Peak, so I got 27 Hunter as quickly as I could and completed that quest. I also did Rune Mysteries, but I realized afterwards that Rune Crafting would be entirely useless to me, so that was mostly a waste of time with no real benefit. Afterwards, I found an undocumented requirement for the Eagle Transport System. It's not listed on the wiki, nor in the agility skill information in-game. 35 agility is required to enter the area around Relica via the Eagle Transport System. Unfortunately, there's absolutely no way to train agility within the bounds of the allowed areas, and there's also no way to gain any experience whatsoever in Piscatorus without equipment so I had to make an exception for that. I'll also have to leave the boundaries of the account once in order to unlock the Eastern Desert, but I don't really consider this an exception, as it's required in order to be able to use one of the Eagle Transport System destinations, and those are kind of the entire point of the account. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy watching, and please let me know in the comments if there's any questions that need answering or anything I can do to make the series more enjoyable. There are two things we need to be careful of. Uh, the Jungle Eagle, uh, if we, we can't really go on it until, uh, we could go on it, but, um, given the fact that we're not going to be able to obtain a thatching spar, we need to obtain a, uh, thatching spar for, well, we can't get a thatching spar, we need to obtain a, um, teasing stick, uh, in order to come back from that, so before we go, before we use the jungle eagle, uh, we have to get a teasing stick. The only way for us to get a teasing stick is to unlock the uh, desert eagle. But uh, to do that, we need 45 strength. Obviously, right now, uh, we've only got uh, one. So, uh, we're going to be starting off by heading over to uh, Relica. Because I don't really think there is another option. So, uh, first things first. Use the rope on the polar eagle. 
As far as I've been able to tell, there is no agility requirement or anything like that to get up here. I was a little worried there was an agility requirement because it looks like an agility shortcut, but I don't believe it's actually uh, an agility shortcut. I believe it's just normal. Um, yeah, because you see it allows me to climb it. 35 agility or higher to climb down these rocks. Okay, that is actually a huge issue because we have no way to get agility experience. I found myself incapable of even the simple act of climbing down the side of the cliff my white feathered family called home. Even worse, there was no place within the boundaries of my home where I could safely gain the experience I needed to accomplish such a task. With no other recourse, I was forced to journey beyond where eagles roost, to a stronghold ruled by gnomes, in order to gain the abilities I needed in order to accomplish my goals. This would hopefully mark the only time I would be forced to venture beyond the boundaries of the lands of my family. Alright, that is our first agility level. Uh, two agility, I will see you in eight levels when we're moving to a different course. All right, and this is gonna be, right, this is gonna be uh, ten agility. So, uh, given the situation, I've I said something about uh, switching courses. This is the closest course to the actual starting area, and it's it's the slowest XP per hour, but it's not that bad. It's you know six to eight thousand XP per hour. So I think what I'm going to end up doing is just using this course. Uh, until level 35 agility, so uh, I'll check in every uh, few levels. Honestly, this is really quick though, uh, compared to some of the grinds, so this is only going to be a couple hours, probably at most, to get to uh, level 35, given that it's 7 to 8,000 XP per hour. Uh, 6,500 is not, it's not that crazy, but um, we only need, what, like 20, 22,000, I think, XP for. Uh, level 35, so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get that, and then as soon as we're done getting them, uh, we will go ahead and uh, actually get things started and get over to the Remnick area. Uh, the area around Relic will be the first place that we are headed. Just hit 11 agility. I'm thinking as well, uh, once we hit, I believe it's 85 combat, um, I'm debating. Uh, allowing myself to use Neve as a Slayer Master since Neve is also right here. Basically what this would be doing is slightly moving the area that's allowed for uh, the Piscatorus area to basically encompass the lower or, uh, part of the uh, Gnome Stronghold. I'm not 100% sure on that exception. Um, it would give us something to look or to work forward to and even potentially give us a way to uh, get a uh, Kraken task and fight the Cave Kraken later on because you can uh, fight the Cave Kraken in the source, which is one of the end uh, goals I kind of had for the account, or I was at least hoping to have that as a later goal is to uh, be able to kill the Kraken. I'm not 100% sure how well that'll work, uh, or if you all would think that, that would be an acceptable exception for the account, because it is kind of a big exception, because part of the thought of this account was to kind of stay out of most um, I guess, civilized areas and kind of stay more towards the wilds. I mean... Alright, uh, this is going to be... 15 agility. And this is uh, 20 agility. So, uh, see you in another level or so. Okay, so that is 21 agility. Normally I wouldn't stop after just a single level to uh, say something, but this is about a quarter of the way there, so uh, probably another couple hours of this, and then we will be at 35. And that is 25 agility. Only uh, 10 more levels to go. Alright, that is officially 28 agility. Uh, we are halfway there. And that is 30 agility. Missed it, but that's 31. And 32 agility. Hey, I've been playing a while and I want to be able to take a break from my screen. Uh, but unfortunately, I've still got uh, 3 agility levels left. And 33 agility. Alright, that is 34 agility, only one level left. And we're just about to hit 
35 agility. Three experience left as soon as we cross this log. We finished that. There we go. And uh, it says you can now enter the Barbarian Agility Bird, but the thing is that that's not what we're here for. Uh, we're here to finally be able to actually start this whole thing. So now we are going to say goodbye to the Gnome Stronghold, probably forever. Um, probably not going to want to come back, just uh, at least uh, unless we decide that we're going to make the exception for the 85 combat. But uh, that's, that's a ways off, it's so tomorrow kind of a thing. We are going to head up to the polar hunting area, make our way into Relica. Alright, let's say goodbye to the Trinome Stronghold, walk right past this line, and there we are. We are finally done making exceptions, except for possibly we might need to make an exception for one other thing I can think of. Uh, but that's, again, way later on. It's not really something we need to worry about right now. Um, for now... Oh, I've walked past it. For now, we're going to head up this cliff. Uh, go ahead and go inside and take the eagle to the polar hunting area. You must be level 35 agility or higher to climb down these rocks now. One agility experience and we are in the polar hunter area just north of Relic. I had finally done it. I had made my way to the frozen north, to the place where the polar eagles made their nests. Now all that remained was to see what this place had in store for me. I grew up in the mountains, far from civilization. I knew no human parents. Were it not for one of the eagles of the north who took me in as her own, I may not have survived until my first birthday. Yet I did survive. As I came of age, my mother encouraged me to venture out with the aid of our family, to seek out others like myself. I am an outsider, and this is my story.